Alright, so I was just chilling in this forest, running around and uh, trying to hatch this egg when I accidentally stepped in the grass and I ran into this. This is a shiny Toxodon. Uh, for a second, I didn't think it was shiny and then I was like, wait, this boy's more purple than usual. So, <laughs> encountered my second shiny and that's actually pretty damn cool. So I figured I would start recording now. I didn't make much progress on the egg, but uh, we can now catch this damn thing. So, I'm afraid to kill it. Because everything I touch dies, so you know what? Should we just try to throw some balls at this thing? Let's um, let's just go for a friend ball right from the start. I know you want to be my pal, please. Uh, these things do evolve into a pretty badass Pokemon, so we would like to add you to the old collection, buddy. He's going for some toxic spikes. You know, I could probably, I could probably go for a bug bite and not kill it. I would assume, right? We're going for it. Hopefully, please don't die. Okay, perfect. So uh, that should make it a little easier. Goes for Poison Tail now. So I believe, I don't know if this thing, I think it's just pure poison. Or maybe it's um, Poison Ground. I know it does evolve into basically a badass Poison Ground Rhydon. So I would love to have you, buddy. Let's see if we can get you in a second friend ball. And <laughs> we do. So Toxodon was caught. And I'm fired up. Get ourselves some experience. When startled, Toxodon roll up into a ball shape, using the spikes on its back to defend itself from attackers. Contrary to popular belief, however, they cannot roll well. Well, uh, we are going to go ahead and give you a nickname. What should I name a Toxodon? So it's a female. Um, our, new, uh, our new little purple girl. What should... Uh, I guess, hold on. I'm going to need to assess this situation a little better. Alright, after careful consideration, we are going to name you... Donna, <laughs> because, you know, you're a toxic Donna. All right, so, yeah, not expecting to get a shiny here, but we did, so that's pretty damn awesome. I'm also on the bicycle. Got to go ahead and get off that. I am pretty close to where we left off last episode. Um, but, yeah, so last time we left off battling some uh, some evil team people. Here's a regular colored one of these. And uh, he's, a little, he's a little chunky boy. Seems to be a lot of females around here, though. Okay. So we just gotta run back over this way. There's wild Pokemon freaking everywhere, though. Let me get out of it. What if I found a second shiny one? That would be ridiculous. But I guess it makes sense that I found another shiny. I feel like the odds have not been living up to what I expected in this game. We'll probably not catch every shiny if it comes to the point where I'm finding a lot. But so far, I've only found two. And uh, I feel like we're going with shiny claws because who doesn't want a shiny toxin on? Okay, we're almost back to where the, yep, the surgeon guy is. What's happening, buddy? Gonna heal us up, and then we can continue to go down and then to the right. Uh, so we are nice and healed. We're gonna need to grab that Toxodon once we, uh, once we get to another Poke Center. But we head over this way, and uh, we have not gone any farther than this. Freaking pumpkin guys everywhere. Hollowweed, please get out of here. Do I have... Please tell me I have more repels. We could definitely use those bad boys. So, yeah, I was intending on just running around for a while with this egg. There's not a really good spot to do it here, though. Doesn't seem close to hatching, as I didn't really get too far. And, uh, that was actually the first wild encounter I came across, was that shiny. But, okay, let's find ourselves a super repel. Do I? I, th I thought I had super repels. Hello? Maybe not. I do. Got four of them. Okay, perfect. So, we don't have to worry about... Freaking pumpkins every two steps. And uh, maybe you should visit the graveyard first. Okay, so we're not able to go down for first. We have to go this way. Which is fine. And I just used a super repel basically to <laughs> get right here. Alright, that's fine. So I have this spooky ass cabin. It's even called spooky... <laughs> it's called spooky cabin. Okay, uh, there is a hidden item. It is TM30 for Shadow Ball, so that's pretty damn nice. We will take that. This place looks fucked up. We also find a rare bone. And what is a rare bone? Sounds like it could be pretty cool. Let's check this baby out. Somebody just threw away a bone. I have so many regular items, too. It's getting kind of ridiculous. All right, rare bone. Uh, extremely valuable for Pokemon archaeology. Can be sold for a high price to shop. So that's pretty nice. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll go into the back here as it actually just leads to the cemetery. And something crazy is about to go down here, I assume. What is happening here? I got my spider out. He's like, this is my natural habitat. And this dude just pops the fuck out of nowhere. Hello? You have a pure heart. The gravestones. One is yours. What? Um, 
Okay, so we got some like elemental gravestones here. Do you choose this gravestone? Why do I why do I want a gravestone anyway? We got the watery looking one. I don't know. I'm gonna go with the middle one. Because uh why not? We'll grab that. And uh what the hell happens here? Okay, so we do get an encounter, and this is technically holy shit, it's a gaslit. Okay, so technically we're gonna say that this does count for the Nuzlocke. Uh, we are in the same area, although uh, this seems to be like a static encounter that I guess each one has a different encounter. That's pretty cool though. We're gonna we're gonna catch this thing. Um, I have no idea what type it is. I assume it's just a ghost type, but uh, we're gonna try to hit you with a bug bite and see how much that does. Okay, does absolutely nothing. So we do need to whittle this thing down a little bit. You're gonna hit us with a spite, reducing my PP, you asshole. Okay, we can afford to go for a couple X scissors here. Ooh, critical hit. You're scaring me, Charlotte. Don't do that. Please stop that. Okay, more spites. So, uh, this thing actually looks pretty cool. I like this thing's design. We're gonna try to catch you. Let's see if we can convert you to a friend. It seems like these friend balls have been working pretty good lately, so... We'll just huck one of these things at you. And, uh... Please be my friend. It did work! Alright, our first friend ball. Nice. Gaslit was caught. So, uh... Ooh, it's a ghost and fire Pokemon. Gaslit are said to be the spirits of those who perish in fires. Their burning body can shine so bright that it can blind foes. Interesting. Well, um, we are going to go ahead and give you a nickname. So it's a female. Female Gaslit. It's a nice little fire ghost type. What should I name this thing? Okay, so here's the deal with this nickname. I could not think of anything. So you know what I did? I googled random name generator and made it just randomate like randomate randomize feminine names and it came up with ranja and that actually seems kind of fitting so there we go we got this thing and it's gonna go into box one so now we have a whole bunch of cool things that we could add to the team nothing happens so yeah we only get one option the blue flame looks pretty fitting for what we got i'm actually really happy with that ghost and fire type we could teach it shadow ball if it doesn't already have a good ghost move and that's actually pretty freaking sweet so let us continue back down this way and uh, hopefully we'll get out of this damn goo pool swamp here pretty soon. This guy's just pulling weeds in the middle of the swamp. Nice fisherman Xavier. He has a Kaplash. Forgot about these ugly ass things. It is raining, of course. And uh, X scissors should be good here. So I'm kind of, I don't know who I should add to the team. I would really like to add Toxodon to the team. I didn't actually realize that you do in fact need a water stone to be able to evolve. Um, our little buddy seaweed um, so that's kind of unfortunate we do have the opportunity to get one uh, back in one of the previous cities somebody asks for uh, it's like a, a, be a beverage or whatever if we bring a certain one I think it's like lemonade and she gives us a water stone so we can technically get a water stone for weed sea um, I'm kind of considering switching monsoon with our new shiny toxodon buddy I don't know what this thing evolves into um, I mean it's, it's a decent type that actually does help us out a little bit so I don't know, man. Maybe we'll switch Charlotte with that poison thing and get a new poison type. I don't. I do not know. We got some decisions to make, though. Needless to say. Anyway, got ourselves a Pokeball over this way. We will take you. TM83 for infestation. Uh, that is pretty cool. And uh, just some more trainers. It's hard to walk in this mud. Walking in mud is one of the worst feelings ever. You ever walk? Ever step so deep into mud? Where your shoe gets like vacuum sealed up in that shit and then your sock gets all fucked up. Just overall not good times. Ain't nobody like walking around in the mud. We're gonna cross poison you, which is not very effective, but we're still gonna crit you, so that's fine, Halloween. Freaking cursed body though, man. And infestation. Looks like this guy found the TM for infestation as well. Afflicted with an infest infestation. That's fine. Charlotte's a bug herself. I feel like that shouldn't shouldn't work as bad. That's good. It work is bad well one more X's are gonna take this thing out and what else you got for me buddy next is a swamp peep freaking swamp peeps man well ugly ass deformed fucking grass moss muck uh, does not enjoy bug attacks so that's fine only level 34 too so we're gonna have a pretty good opportunity to uh, raise up the team here pretty soon next is a dart toad haven't seen a dart toad in a while um, we'll just go up into, so Charlotte is now level 42, where we can begin to, I guess, just spread the love around a little bit. Let's go into Dracula, maybe just, okay. Dracula's almost level 42 also, and Dartoad, you look beautiful. 
Has anybody told you today how beautiful you are, Darto? Okay, so we'll probably get close to 42 off of that. Now oh, we do grow to level 42. Dracula looking nice, buddy. Stuck. These guys just stuck in the mud. Okay. Uh, let's switch out the lead. We'll go with Marvin. Actually, we'll go with Happy in front because Happy is the lowest right now, and that is doesn't happen too often. Another punk girl. Battle? Yeah, whatever. See, she's way too cool for this. She's like, I mean, Pokemon's kind of for kids, but I guess I'll battle you. Freaking Lila over here got a purple little poi pole boy. Level 32. Um, we are. I don't remember what type this thing is. I think it's just a poison. It looks like it would be poison water. But Bulldoze is super effective, so you can take that. You adorable little bastard. What you got next? Next is a Slib Blue. This little, this little feller. Um, let's just quick attack you. I think this thing's a bug water type or bug poison. I mean, still terrible at remembering typings, man. And a Bulldox, which is the Stotox evolution. Yep, sure is. Um, we're gonna give you a Bulldoze. Bulldoze and the Bulldox. That's right. Oh my god, critical hit, but it lived it? Does this thing have sturdy? How the hell? Yeah, it does have sturdy. I was like, wait. Hello? Rock Blast? Okay, that kind of hurts a little bit. As long as you don't get me with like five crits. Okay, there's one crit. Jesus Christ, happy. Stop that. My god. <laughs> this thing is scary. Um, we don't really want to play games with that thing. So you know what we're going to do? We're just going to switch right into Monsoon. That's sturdy. Come, this thing really reminds me of uh, freaking Rog and Rolla's evolution. Whatever. Okay, Jesus. Uh oh. Badly poisoned. Uh oh. <laughs> it was a bad idea going into Monsoon. Uh, but we can just finish you with an Aqua Jet. So, ha! Priority, bitch. Even though we're probably faster, we just playing it safe. Okay. So, being poisoned is quite freaking annoying. We're almost level 40 with Monsoon, though. It's almost a shame to not use Monsoon. We've worked so hard. To get that thing level 40. Uh, let's bust out some medicine here. Let's go for... I do have an antidote, so we might as well just use that on you, buddy. I don't think we die from poison steps in this, but it's still... We're just playing it safe. Okay, then also... We need to use a hyper potion on you. We're probably out of this damn... This damn place. We've got to be getting close. I don't see this... Uh, this damn place being too much bigger. We can go up or right. We should probably check out this way first. We have that super appell on A. And we don't really need to use another one. What's up, lady? My bug types keep me safe with their glow. Fun stuff. Let's see their glow. Okay, so she's got two Pokemon. Lena here has an Aklarva. Aklarva. Still the weirdest name to pronounce ever. Tis raining. That's just going to boost my bubble beam. How about that? Gonna hit me with a bite. This thing looks creepy as hell. Look at those, the size of those eyes. Just absolutely staring you down. And last is a stick cut. We have not seen a stick cut in forever. Uh, this was, we would have had one of these things if I didn't manage to freaking kill my stick it. I'm still sad about that because that thing looks awesome. Just a deformed hair across, but we grow to level 41 there with Happy. Monsoon is now level 40 and we're looking good. Where is the light? Couldn't tell you. Okay, so we got a punk guy hanging out in here. If you caught a Pokemon in Goopal Swamp, may this will help you. Obtained a black sludge. Ooh, nice. So that's basically leftovers for poison types, which is pretty cool. Thanks, buddy. We got all sorts of we got ways to pimp out our poison types nowadays. Hot damn. And an empty trash can. Okay. So let us see this uh, Route 10A. Interesting. Wait, did I get something on Route 10? Like, what? Hold up. Where are we at on the map here? Okay, so uh, this was Goopal Swamp and then Route 9. So, yeah, 10A is an entirely new route. I'm guessing this is 10B down here. Yep. After the reef, we have 10, Route 10B, and then we have our next city. So, we are just still on quite the journey to the next city. I caught a few Pokemon. Let me show you. Let's see it, pal. I really just need to get to a PC because I need to start training up something different. We got one of these damn angelfish. Um, we'll just give you a bulldoze. How about that? Aqua Jet is not going to work too good on Happy. Quite the weird looking fish. Why does every Pokemon game have to have at least one heart fish? I mean, this thing's not really a heart, but it, it kind of just looks like a... Looks like an Aloma Mola that, like... You know how sometimes orcas, their fin, like... Hunch, like, slumps over? <laughs> this guy's got a slumped-ass fin. And a Kinip, which is something completely new. We have not seen one of these before. 
What are you, little buddy? We'll give you a bulldoze because you seem like you'd be maybe rock type. Who knows? Um, it is super effective. Only does half, though. And we drop that speed. Now this thing is able to go for toxic spikes. We're not going to switch out. That's totally fine. We probably should have gone back and healed at that one surgeon guy one more time, but it's fine. It's totally fine. I'm surprised. This thing is very defensive. It's taken. It took two bulldozers from a level 41. Happy hot damn. Happy feet. You gotta get your shit together, buddy. Quick attack. We'll be able to finish it off. And uh, that thing actually seems kind of cool. It's kind of got like the Kingler head going on. Next is an an another angelish young angle f ang angelfish boy. Um, bulldozers are their best option against these things. But they have nothing to hurt us with because they just aqua jet us all day. So that is totally fine. And hot damn it, this thing's able to take another bulldoze as well. That's fine. I got I got all the time in the world, Mr. Angelfish Boy. Looking like a fucking Neopet out here. I swear, there's probably actually a Neopet that looks exactly like this thing. We'll just finish it with a quick attack to save some bulldozers. How about that? And we are good to continue. When the hell do you get the ability to fly? We just now got Surf. But hot damn it, when can I fly? I really just want to go back to that old city where I can get that water stone. It would be nice. But uh, this is our first encounter on this route, technically. Um, it is going to be a poor fin. And uh, alrighty then. So, a little poor fin. We'll give you a quick attack, which you'll probably be able to take. Nice. Okay. So, we can always use an extra water type. Everything on this damn area has aqua jet, though. What is up with that? We'll try to catch this thing. Might as well, it's a legal encounter, and we are going to just use an Ultra Ball on you. will probably be able to get it here. Here we go, Porfin. Nice, so we do get it first try. And adorable little Shark Boy. We're just adding to the box these days. We can have a whole different team if we want to. It's a pure water type, docile species of Pokemon. They have a close relationship with humans. Some may even allow children to play amongst them. Very cool. Well, we'll give you a nickname, and we'll just name you... We'll name you Jaws, even though you're way less scary. One day, I have hopes that you will be spooky. So, that is our new Porfin. Box one is getting filled up. There's gotta be a hidden item on this thing. Hello? Nope, just a, just a random little sandbar. That's fine. Is a trainer right there, but do I really want to battle him? The answer is not really. Another Porfin. Let me run from you, sir. Okay, we're just gonna continue to the right. And then down this way, there's a one single palm tree. I always thought about, you know how, I mean, you see in movies and shit, there's like little tiny ass islands with fucking full ass palm trees. How do the palm trees get on the island in the first place? That is my question. Like, how did this thing get here? So many fucking, like, coconuts just wash ashore and then start growing? I don't, that's actually probably how, but I still, doesn't make any damn sense. And I call bullshit. So many damn poor fins. It looks like it was going to be quite the uh, quite the surfy route, and we're going to see a lot of poor fins, which I can't escape from this thing. What the hell? How fast is this? What? Hello? I'm 10 levels higher. Still can't escape. It's just going for hell of agilities. Just going to test my luck on another one. There we go. We're able to run that time, and that's all it takes for me to just be like, you know what? We're going to go ahead and uh, hit you with another super repel, which I really need to buy more of because these things are coming definitely in handy. I think I have like three of them left. Super repel. Yeah, we got three left. So we gotta make the most out of these. We do get a new we do get a new encounter here pretty soon. We're gonna not battle you that guy up there, but we're gonna battle the surfs up, dude. He's not surfing too well. They didn't too many waves. He didn't even have a surfboard. Aiden, what are you doing, buddy? He has a surf hide though. Maybe he just uses the surf hides. Surfboard. Who knows? More aqua jet. If you're wondering if we were out of the priority water moves area, we oh no, they still fucking everywhere. Surf hide goes down. Next is a Rockster. What the fuck is a Rockster? Hello? We're gonna go into Marvin. I should probably just lead with Marvin here. Because electric moves are gonna help us out against all these damn water types. Holy shit, it's a fucking blue ass lobster. Have you guys ever seen, so there are actually blue lobsters in the world. They're like real life shiny Pokemon. It's like a very rare chance to get one. But people have found blue lobsters. These guys are shiny hunters in real life. And next is a Sharko, which is a new thing we have not seen before, okay. Oh no, we've seen this thing, totally. It's the electric shark that almost fucked me up in the fishing contest, and hot damn, that crunch just hurt. Ouch. Uh, so, lightning strike is just neutral because water electric, and you go down. Okay. Knocked out. 
All right, we should probably actually just leave Happy in for like one more battle because we are about to grow a level. But we will go for one of these here super potions on your boy. Your boy Marvin, just in case shit gets a little crazy, we can bust that thing out. Okay. Got a nice little hidden item here. It is a max ether. And am I really going to have to go around again? No, it looks like I can go down. We still actually might want to battle some more people because it does seem like... Hello? Please turn around. You splashed me! Ma'am, you're soaking wet in the water already. Freaking simmer, simmer care. <laughs> Jelly nip. It is a nipple Pokemon. <laughs> this thing is a nipple with a face. And I don't know how I feel about this thing. Fucking Jelly Nip? Really? How are you going to hit me with that? That is the most hilarious Pokemon we've seen so far. And that's saying a lot. There's some weird shit in this game. Fucking Jelly Nip? Really, bro? <laughs> um, Alright. Well, I'm all about Jellyfish Pokemon. Tentacruel is my fucking boy. So I guess I love Jelly Nip now, too. Alright, we do grow to 42 there. Looking nice. And next is a Parisi. So, we'll actually stay in Parisi is the freaking Lapras ass thing. Let's go for an Aurora Beam. I think that should be neutral, right? Yep, and a Body Slam. Basically just a cooler Lapras out here. This guy, see this thing got a random ass palm tree grown on its back. A fucking coconut just got wedged in its shell and then just grew out of him. Sorry about that, buddy. Okay, we are going to switch it up here. We will put Marvin up. Yeah, and all right. Time to continue. Where the hell is this reef everybody be talking about on the map? We do have another item. And it's a big pearl. Seems like a fitting place to find a big pearl. Okay. Um, so it doesn't look like we can go... No, we can go farther right. So this is where we're supposed to go. And this looks like... Yep, this is the rainbow reef. We're just going to go ahead and get out of the water immediately. Because we're probably going to be able to get something cool in this grass. But first, let's battle this guy. Sharko, attack! This lad's got himself a Sharko. Okay. Look at the background of this place. It's awesome. Okay. So, the shark Pokemon in the reef area is probably what we're going to find. I'm sure we'll find something just like... Probably just uh, one of these here Sharkos. We know that these things have crunch and definitely hurt Marvin, but Lightning Strike does knock you out in one hit. So, we're good. Down you go, sir. We have had so many battles in this area. I always say it. Whenever there's just a very high density of battles, we always end up finding... That uh, they're kind of just trying to prepare you for a level gap. So I'm assuming the next gym is going to be pretty high level. But I do think that we're in a good spot. So Monsoon probably doesn't need the EXP share anymore. Considering it's at level freaking 41 now. We're just going to stop learning that. And another Sharko. Uh, you know what? For this one, let's just actually let Charlotte do it. I was going to use uh, freaking Dracula. But I think that's probably a terrible idea. We'll just go for a nice little X scissor here, buddy. This lad's got hella Sharkos, and it does have rough skin, which is good to know. If you make contact with that thing, just be prepared to take that rough skin damage. Okay. I got in too deep. Okay. Uh, so we can catch something new now. Let's go ahead and see. Probably Super Potion U. And then we'll also actually take the EXP share off of Monsoon. Because we need to just evolve this thing before anything. Alright. Um... And then also, let's actually put Happy in front. Probably the best at weakening things here. Go for a nice little super potion there. All right, we're good to go. Let's see what we can find in this grass. We've added so many new Pokemon to the team. This episode has been the most catch heavy so far, I think. Oh, I have the fucking repel on. That's why. Hello? Okay, there's the repel. And let's see. Let's, let's find it in this grass. This seems like... Some cooler grass. All right, first encounter in the reef area is going to be one of the Krabby boys. Under the motherfucking sea. All right. So, Crab Blue. We need to see what this thing evolves into, which is cool. Let's give it a quick attack, which I think should be good here. Okay, go for a couple more of those. A little Boobla Beam. That is fine. This thing looking like motherfucking Thanos out here, even though you're not purple. All right, knock it into perfect range. Okay, let's catch ourselves a Crab Blue. Oh, wait, I already have a Crab Blue from the catching contest. I totally forgot about that. You know what? This doesn't count. We're just going to run. I should have just killed it for the experience. Uh, but yeah, we did actually end up with a Crab Blue from the, the fishing contest. And I totally forgot about that because it was actually the second thing we found. Our first was one of those freaking Sharkos, but we ran from it. Oh, wait, how do, I get, how do I get that fucking Pokeball over there? Do I really have to surf all the way around? We ain't doing it. Let's see what else we can find. Second encounter. 
is gonna be just another weed sea. Okay, we don't want you, buddy. There's probably not too many new things. I feel like we've seen a lot of the water types that you can find in this in this damn game. How many more could there be? What you got? These people are just staring each other down. Ooh, we have not seen this thing, a Corrine. And, uh... That's pretty actually awesome. Okay, it's... I'm assuming it's probably gonna be... Grass and water type? Um, I don't want to kill it. That is definitely not what we want to do. Should I just suck some balls at this thing? It seems like it'd be easy enough to catch. You know what? We're just gonna throw some freaking balls at you. How about that, buddy? Well, let's go for an ultra here. He's got an adorable little flower on his head. Okay, the ultra ball first try just does not freaking work. Uh, it's got ancient power too. Hot damn, maybe it's rock type then. It actually does a lot. Please don't get this nap boost, thank you. Okay, let's um Let's switch into Marv. Because Marvin can take It's got a natural gift, huh? Okay. So it goes for the natural gift now, but fails. Let's go for a magnet bomb here. I think that might be a good idea. Who knows? Okay, yeah, we'll go for a couple of magnet bombs. I went for a whirlpool, which I totally thought for a second was freaking whirlwind, but we're safe. Worry not. Marvin's got this shit. We'll go for one more of these here. Magnet bombs. No crit, please. Ooh, Jesus did crit, but it knocks it into a better range anyway. So there's the ancient power. We're actually kind of hurting over here. Yo, this freaking coin, man. You're scary, and I do not want to die here, so you know what we're going to do is bust out that super. Get you back up in fighting shape, Mr. Marvin. We do not want to die to this little baby-ass Corrine, man. We have not seen this before, though. I was very surprised that there's new shit here. I guess it makes sense. I mean, the Coral Reef is a very diverse habitat. All right. Now we'll see if an Ultra Ball will work. Please, let me have you. And that is going to do it. So we got ourselves a Corrine. Very nice. Very nice. Get ourselves some experience. It is a water rock type. The coral flower on Corrine's head is a valuable decoration for the riches. While they do shed naturally, growing a new one takes a hundred years upwards. My god. Well, we're going to name you, um, how about Chloe? Because you sound like Chlorine. And now you're Chloe. And this thing is actually pretty cool mon. All right. Very nice. So now we have these people. What are y'all doing? Merkid, go. Y'all got a mer you got a Merkid, huh? Have not seen a Merkid, so we're gonna see something new here. Uh Marin and Ace Trainer Louie want a battle. You got a Finflix? Okay, we've not seen one of those. Or a Merkid. Fucking Mermaid Pokemon? Hot damn. Okay, Happy and Charlotte come out here. Happy is hurting, which really should have healed right before this. We hate double battles. Double battles are not good for us. Okay. Hyper potion on you, buddy. And we'll actually just have Charlotte go for an X scissor on the Merkit. Dude, these things are level 37. This is actually pretty scary. Okay, we're back to full with Happy, which is all that matters. And then the Merkit does actually go down to an X scissor. Yeah, you know, Charlotte is pretty damn OP. That physical attack stat is nothing to play games with. Freaking Brine. This little dinosaur but water boy. And there's another Finflix. Okay, so two of these things. We will just go for a... Bubble beam? No, let's let's uh let me bowl those. And then we'll X Scissor as well. We'll see how much the X Scissor does. Don't know what type this thing is. X Scissor just about kills it. The bulldoze is gonna finish it off. Reminds me of the little dinosaur rock boys, but Oh my god. Why did I just take damage? What what the hell was that? Hello? What the fuck just happened there? Dragon breath. Okay, please don't kill me. Thank you. Freaking paralyzed. And there's another Merkid. Ooh, it's a girl one. Okay. Beautiful. All right, so for Happy, we will go for... Um, we'll go for... Oh, just a, Wait. Oh, Boldo... Does Boldo's fucking hit everything? It totally does. <laughs> Terrible idea. Oh, right, well, then we will bubble beam you. And then we do need to full restore Charlotte up because we do not want that there para. Get you back to full, nice and healthy. Don't know what the hell these Merkids want. They seem like they'd probably be fairy type, fairy water. I don't know. Storm Drain raised its special attack. Hot damn it, it has Storm Drain. That was a. T oh, fuck. This thing Storm. Oh, shit, this thing is powered up. Uh oh. Now it goes for a brine after all the power ups. Still, luckily, just attacks happy though, so that's good. And good to know that this thing <laughs> has Storm Drain. We're actually gonna not do that. Let's go for. 
a quick attack and an axe scissor will do it. So we're just going to play it safe here with that. My god. Okay, actually, just one quick attack does it. Perfect. All right, so down goes that thing. Fucking most ridiculous double battle. Y'all got some weird-ass mods. And an axe scissor just kills the Mercury. All right, so we got out of that with no deaths, and, you know, that's all we can hope for. Freaking ace trainers, man. They don't play games. We got another guy here. What's up? Ah, this coral is so colorful. Pretty colorful indeed. I love coral reefs. All right, Hatther here has three Pokemon. You got a Corrine. I have a Cor Corrine as well. Okay, um... We do want to heal, because we've seen that these things are definitely Rock-type now, and we're prepared for that. The team still really doesn't like Rock-type, except for, we could just be using Weed Sea. There's the Whirlpool again, that's totally fine. So the levels have gotten up a little bit higher, this lady coming at us with level 35s, we have level 37s there. Um, we are just going to quick attack ya, because higher physical attack, it still doesn't even, okay. Yep, still should have gone for the fucking... Bulldoze, I'm an idiot. Engine power hurts. And the Whirlpool. Dude, damn it. This Corrine, man. We can't switch out because of the Whirlpool, I don't think, actually. No, we probably can't. Wait, we're gonna just, uh, not use a Super. We're gonna use a Hyper. Yeet. Get back to full, and we're just gonna Bulldoze you. I am dumb for going for... First of all, physical moves are probably not the best idea against this thing, because Rock types are more physically defensive. And, uh... You are not the right type for that. Jesus, that does half after the Whirlpool. Hot damn it. Die already, you fucking chlorine. You little chlorine bastard. Yep, should have bulldozed from the start because you're freaking rock type. And uh, next is another chlorine. Okay, so now we'll just stay in here and just bulldoze everything we see. Which, we're running out of PP here pretty soon. But I trust that we'll be okay. Also, we're about to grow to level 43, which is nice. Almost. And a poor fin is last. Uh, for Porfin, let's just go into Dracula, who has not had any freaking love today. I'll give this buddy just a little, little stretch of the legs. How about that? All right, Porfin accidentally just used Hyperfang on you, but that should be okay. Probably not going to knock you out. Nope, it does. False alarm. Dracula's a beast. I underestimated you, friend. All right. Oh, I lost? You sure did, lady. You sure did. Okay, and then what are, uh, what are you doing just staring at the ledge? Wonder if there's any treasure around here. I'm sure there is, uh, but they're gonna you're gonna battle me. Just ask me a question and then battle me, huh, Corin? All right, Corin's got a Corin. Fitting. Very fitting. Okay, we do know that Bulldoze knocks these things out. So how about that? Catch me outside, Corin. This one's level 36 though. The last one was 35. Could have been bad if they got an ancient power crit, but we grow to 43 there. Looking nice. Next is a Merkid. Uh, let's actually just go into. Let's go into Dracula. Dracula wants some more love. Although, bad idea if this thing is actually fairy type, which I'm unsure. We're just going to hyperfang in case. Should be good here, though. Almost knocks it out. It's going to go for a dive. Hidden underwater. Even though I can still see it, you're not underwater at all. The dive mechanics are not that advanced yet. So we are able to take that nicely. Hyperfang does knock you out. So many trainers, man. We have. It has been so long it's, since we've gotten to a new city. Stink. Yeah, you stink, lady. Probably is some hidden treasure around here. She was just talking about it. There wasn't anything on that rock, though, surprisingly. Hmm. Another one of these shrub seas. Interesting. So, uh, it looks like we just gotta continue in the coral reef area. Where we do have a couple more trainers, it seems. There's freaking that guy hanging out. What is the deal? Man, we got... This place is huge. Fucking great barrier reef out here. More shrub seas. Um, so let's actually take a look at the map one more time here. I think that it's just right. We gotta go down. And, yeah, okay, so right and then down is where we're headed to the Coralite Town. But uh, we have a little bit more exploring to do on the coral reef. It seems there's also another another hidden item. It's a splash plate. I believe that just powers up water moves. So many items for powering up water moves. My God. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to end the episode here. Uh, next time, we're going to continue some more on the Coral Reef, and we're going to get to a new city. So, uh, quite the eventful episode. We added a whole bunch of new Pokemon to the team, or at least to the box, which we will be adding to the team eventually. How close is this damn egg to hatching? The world may never know. Saying fuck, I feel like I've been running my ass off. Still doesn't seem close to hatching. Hot damn it. Well, we got to do that soon just to see what it turns into. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I will see you guys next time. Peace out.